So I've just left Woodford, guys. Uh, Woodford's just a little, little town, about 10 k's, 15 k, 10 k's out of Warrnambool. And I'm in the Mirai River. Um, it's starting to rain, but anyway. Uh, so yeah, so my plan is to try and hopefully make it from Woodford to Warrnambool, going down the Mirai. Now it's we're in start of April, so. So I was fully aware there's probably not going to be a lot of water in here, but sort of new to this canoeing side of things, so I've heard it might be a little bit safer to do it this time of the year than when she's raging down full of water. So I always plan to get wet, and once I sort of start getting used to this canoeing side of things and keeping me balanced and steering properly, I'll have a bit of a fish and might have somewhere something along the way. So. But in the meantime, I'll hopefully catch uh, some uh, wonderful scenery, and yeah, we'll go from there. Beautiful. I can hear the, I can hear the bees. It's running, raining, but I can still hear the bees. I want to catch a tree up. Oh, little doggy. All right, mate. Made it through that uh, little reef there. I'm certainly learning that it's uh, you want to come and do some canoeing. If you don't like getting wet, it ain't going to be for you. I did chuck the rod in for a little bit back up there, as you see, but uh, I didn't. I didn't really <laughs> didn't really have any much luck. I was hoping to trawl, but I don't know if that's a good idea. It's a little bit a little bit hit and miss so far with the rocks. <laughs> I'll tell you what, it's so quiet, I love the scenery, and uh, the sounds, the sounds are beautiful. Mm. Alright, let's get some, a little bit of timber.
I was, uh, I did put a pan in hoping I'd be able to cook some fish by now, but uh, soup's good enough. He wants a bit of chicken. Oh boy, he's 16, eight, aren't you, mate? Yeah. He's 16 years old and he's still out here adventuring with his papa. I'll give him a bit of warm soup to warm him up because he's feeling the cold, the poor old fella. I was going to start up the river a bit further up near Grassmere. There's a bridge called Nicholson Bridge there, or Nichols Bridge. But I looked at it and thought, nah, it's too, it's going to be too hard going, so. I don't know this river very well. Oh, well, I don't know this river at all, to be honest. This is the Merai, as, as I mentioned earlier. Uh, this river runs into Shark Bay. And it goes through like a uh, sanctuary for the birds. So, Warrnambool's got two rivers. Hopkins, which if you've seen my videos, I've done a couple of videos on the Hopkins. So this one's a lot smaller. I'm hoping to catch some trout. This is what that's what I'm aiming for here. I've caught a brim. Uh, I haven't caught a mulloway yet. I'm hoping to catch a trout on a lure. But. Uh, as I say, a bit of lunch. The boys wanted a bit of a break from the canoe. They're a bit cold, so they needed a bit of a run. And, uh, yeah. So I'll pack up, clean up all my mess, and um, head back, get on the river. Yeah, well that we got through that all right. So we've got uh, a little bit of a leeway here, so I might pop a little bit of troll. So here we go, eh? We're not going to catch nothing if the rod's not in. Jump off here, I think. Bit of a drop. It's a bit tricky where I'm gonna send the canoe over here. I'm thinking of sliding it down there on that, uh, 
such a drop. The bugger, I forgot the rope. Anyway, so I'm either thinking of sliding it down there over there, or maybe here. Tricky one. Bugger! You dare sell our shit itself! That was a beautiful shot. I was just about, I set up the DSLR to take a nice still. Probably use that for the YouTube thumbnail. And then bugger me, shit, bloody hell. Come up to this messy, so. But I haven't really, I haven't got it wet. Anyway, bloody hell, it's getting thick in here, shit. Just taking our time, I think. Oh, sorry, mate. Come on, hop in the middle, hop in the middle. Yeah, this river looks like she's bloody narrowed right up, so... This ain't looking good. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Better go and scout.
Here we go. Well guys, I'm down to my last two through batteries, so I'm going to have to go a bit easy on the batteries. Uh, I'm just going to keep plodding away, I'm hoping there's not too much more of this because I'm going to be late home if that's the case. <laughs> Alright, I'll save me batteries and I'll see you later. I think it clears, hopefully it clears up after this. You're oh, one day. Oh, is this this week and then? We're in a tributary. Oh. Hopefully this is here. I just thought I'd come up and have a look and see if I can see where I am. I've got no idea. Come on! I can't see the one we'll get to. So. Alright. It's tough going. There's a canoe down there. There ain't no depth in the water. Alright, let's go. I got stung by a friggin' wasp back there. Alright. Oh. Bit of a breather. Let's get some speed up. Oh, hallelujah. I think the waters are starting to open up a bit. So that's a sign we're getting closer. Whew. Oh, I freaking hope so. What do you reckon, boys? You hoping so too? <laughs> I'm nearly out of batteries. So what I'm going to do if I run out of batteries is another day I'll come back and I'll do it again another day. So. I ain't gonna kid you. 